hey guys i'm rachel welcome to my channel my channel so today we're saying goodbye instagram makeup and is she wearing makeup let's find out <laughs> Okay, so for me, when achieving a look like that, I feel like it's of utmost importance that everything else looks very put together. Your outfit, your hair, whatever it is, has to look coordinated, look good. So I'm trying to tame my hair and style my hair. As you can see, I'm wearing a watch, I'm wearing some tiny rings, I'm wearing something in my neck. So I'm trying to coordinate everything so I look more put together as a whole because this look is very minimal so I'm just taming my edges um, taming the flyaways and I'm gonna add some clips just to add like decorations to my hair so that I look you know like I did a lot when I didn't of course I gotta prime my face um, because I'm you not using a lot of makeup so I want um, the oils to stay in place I'm also using um, a go light from Mac and I'm gonna go, some, go in with some strobe cream because I want to have this sort of inner glow I don't want to look too dried or too made up so that's like what most important for me in trying to achieve that look today my very 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 best favorite <laughs> foundation of all time from the drugstore l'oreal fresh Wear. i think i'm almost out of that foundation and i'm just applying that with a brush and as you can see i used the one pump i'm gonna like spread it all over my face just to get a nice even layer and i'm not gonna put any over my eyes because over my eyes have this natural darkness and i think it's gonna um, aid to the look that i'm trying to create is she wearing makeup so i'm gonna leave that bare i'm not gonna put anything there and i'm gonna put my sponge with a little more on my cheeks because i have some breakouts there and i'm just gonna smooth everything out to remove any brush strokes and to soak up any excess foundation we're just going for an even layer here no cake face i'm using a concealer elf and i'm just applying that a little as you can see very very small amounts on my face and i'm gonna blend that out and i chose a color that's very very close to my skin and i'm just gonna use the same brush to help blend it out and share it out even it um sorry spread it out even more so that it's not cakey or anything like that I'm just going for a little extra coverage without looking like I'm going for extra <laughs> coverage. And my skin is still showing through that. I'm taking a cream blush, any cream blush you do. This is the e.l.f. one and I'm using the same foundation brush, dispersing it on the brush evenly and I'm applying that to my cheek. It's a sheer wash of color but it's going to give me this glow. This one has this nice glow to it. Any cream um, blush will do that and I'm just applying it to my cheeks. Of course you can't forget your brows and i'm gonna be using my trusty 25b palette but i'm going for a cooler brown color as you can see it's a cool brown so it's not gonna be um too pronounced but it's just gonna fill in the bald spots in my in my brows and not look like i have anything in my brows so a cooler color does that for me I'm using some setting powder. I'm using the Fenty one here. I'm just applying that to the center of my face only. And I'm using a brush because I'm trying to go for as least powder as I can. The center of my face is where I'm oily. So I'm just setting that down. I'm leaving the sides of my face as is. This is just going to create the issue wearing makeup moments. I'm taking this e.l.f. duo. And I'm using this um, cream, sort of like a powder to cream contour, cream to powder, sorry. And applying it um, the usual areas where I want to look more, you know, um, sunken in and stuff like that. And I'm going over with the blush as well. It's a nice rosy pink to set that um, cream blush down. I'm going to apply it to the side of my brows, the usual areas, just to make me look more alive and more like coordinated. So bring the whole look together. Then I'm using a matte setting spray. I'm using the NYX one. That I feel like that part is utmost important because I am combination skin. So a matte spray is going to make everything last longer. Of course, you can't forget your brows as well. I'm setting that with my famous Got To Be Gel. Then I'm taking Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheeks. I'm using this powder because as I said, it's a translucent glow. So there's not a lot of glow to it. It looks very natural. So I'm going to apply some to my nose and in the inner corners of my eyes as well. Just to make my eyes look more open. It's such a natural looking glow. I love it so much for days like these. It just looks like you're glowing from within. 
of course mascara i'm using my lash princess by essence can't forget your mascara because i'm doing nothing with my eyes as you can see that's why i left my lids bare it looks like if i'm wearing a shadow but i'm not <laughs> gloss i'm using a pink gloss i love going for like sheer pink gloss on days like these something that's very close to my a natural lip color or anything like that i just love using things like that to uh, bring the look together so everything is completed my hair is done the look is together you know let me know if you're gonna do a look like that it's really light makeup but you still look put together and you don't look cakey and trust me it lasts because i've done that i've been doing that all all fall and i love the way it looks at the end of the day you look natural and radiant um so all the links to my social media and everything will be in my description box of how to book me i am a nail tech and a makeup artist so everything will be there thank you so much for watching please like comment and share subscribe all that good stuff till then next week bye <laughs>